Well, for me, it has been for the past about 20, 25 years, has been a lot of fun. I always get up in the morning looking forward to what I'm going to find uh, in the lab. Next experiment, finding, seeing, looking at something that I believe nobody has seen, contributing a little bit to um, the knowledge globally. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. Well, uh, as far back as I can remember, um, I always enjoyed bugs and, and life in general and looking at little things under microscopes that my father, for some reason, gave me one of those that you give children when I was about 10. But then at, uh, when I was uh, studying, there was a very uh, big influence from a, a, a lecturer that really made me think that I could do something about it, that I could not just receive information, but maybe I could create some new one as well. So. Yes, I think that particular lecturer was my biggest influence. I like finding things. I'm very curious. Not about people. Um, I may, you know, if, if you want gossip, don't come to me. I never know anything about anybody else. But I do enjoy finding things about the problems that I'm interested in. So I guess curiosity drives me and, and the fact that um, we all can participate in with a little bit and then make up the solution for a very big problem and I enjoy that sort of uh, colleg collegial and, and collective uh, work. Well, follow his dreams, you know. Don't think that being a scientist is just for very, very clever people that are in very, very fancy schools and something like that. It's not. Being a science is about yourself. It's about curiosity, interest. Uh, start looking at things, start thinking about it. Uh, learn as much as you can about the things that interest you and just follow it as far as it can get you. Well, um, sometimes we sort of get um, surprised with what what actually happens or what actually doesn't happen. I, I guess one of the biggest surprises happened when in a in a meeting um, some young man came to me and and he looked at me and he looked at the badge because we we wear these badges with our names and he looked back at me and said you know what it's your fault and i said it's my fault pardon me what and he said it's your fault that i'm here and i said i don't follow and he just continued well I read one of your papers and I decided that that's exactly what I wanted to do. So it's your fault that I'm here today. And that was a big surprise and it made me feel very happy, to be honest, very proud. <laughs>